Good Tuesday morning, I'm Jared Malden with your morning headlines. Better late than never. The City of Palm Coast annual Arbor Day celebration was held Saturday in Central Park at Town Center. The event was canceled back on May 4th due to rain. Despite the delayed celebration, attendees still danced the day away with Cubby, the Daytona Cubs baseball mascot, and Ray Ray, the red panda from PBS's Enviro Pals. The event kicked off with a 5K before the main event, the Feed a Mouth, Get a Tree, Grow a Community campaign, in which attendees could exchange canned food or pet food items for a free native hardwood tree. And while we're on the topic, students with Phoenix Academy are doing their part to help Mother Nature. A group of students with the program built two recycle bins for the city of Flagler Beach. The students say they saw the need after volunteering for beach cleanup in the past. We wanted to focus on because we've been doing like a uh, beach cleanup for a while and we've noticed like we would be forced to like throw like water bottles or cans and something like that in the trash can. At Phoenix Academy we're like really into recycling so we like wanted to make recycling really easy. Now, the cost of Old King's Road. It may be a story of counting their chickens before they're hatched, but now, after Old King's Road has been expanded, it's time for the property owners to pay up. It was a deal that would benefit everyone, or so it seemed. Walmart planned on building a second Pumco store, this one on Old King's Road. So landowners planned ahead and told the city they'd pay for the city to expand the road to four lanes from State Road 100 to Pumco Parkway. That's if the city would move forward with the project sooner than planned. And now, with the big box store missing in action, the city is debating on the best way to recoup their money. And from whom? The city council approved a $5.3 million loan from the utility fund to a special taxing district, which left the landowners on the hook. So far, landowners have only paid interest, which has amounted to $640,000. Now, landowners on the southern end of Old Kings Road, who received the four-lane expansion, say all the landowners along the road should pay. However, those on the northern end disagree, saying their portion was never built, so they shouldn't have to pay right now. What's clear at this point is the city council is expected to vote on May 21st on an interlocal agreement with the tax collector's office to begin collecting their money back. Officials with the city say a lien was put on the properties, so the owners have incentive to pay the money back. And those are your morning headlines. Thanks for watching.